All right, on this episode of Fixing Things with Pastor Bill, we got to do something with these ugly old handrails. The wife ain't going to like it. They don't like... Just put that new, <laughs> new deck down, <clears throat> remodeled it, put her nice staircase in, her cascading staircase, and I can't let her look at these old ugly redneck handrails so we're gonna put up some uh, really nice handrails on this deck today on this episode of fixing things look at my shades man my sa safety glasses right Penny Penny says yeah she says yeah phew it's hot. Already it's hot. Ah, uh, uh, come here, dogs. Uh, sit, sit. That's my wife. She's coming. Penny, Polly, come here, come here. No, no. I gotta go get them. I gotta get busy because it's getting ready to rain. My wife is watching me make sure I do it right. This is the best part of her her deck makeover, so her deck makeover. I think we gotta demo these handrails out before I put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> All right, so much for uh doing the video now it's pouring down rain i mean like 30 seconds crazy man i didn't get nothing done yesterday i started on this corner of the deck over here and i mean just like that the rain came down and it didn't let up for hours i got gully washes everywhere all up and down the road so i'm gonna have to get a the me haul, not the me haul, the General Lee out, my tractor, and grade the road down. But first, I'm gonna do this deck. No one needs to be coming up my road. I live out here in the boonies at a white oak. So let's, uh, let's put this thing back on fast motion and start right where we left off without the rain. They're still calling for rain today, so let's, let's do that. Let's get started. Now, I want to encourage everyone to go to the, the Lowe's uh, website and review the footage that they have uh, rather than just depending on mine. This product is made exclusively for Lowe's. Uh, the Decor uh, Go To or something like that. The Deco Go Tour. Uh, I'm not using the Trex. Uh, uh, it's, this seems to get more stuff with it in the kit than you do with the tracks. The tracks you have to buy all the separate things, not with it. Plus, I don't like the hardware that the tracks was using. It's just like these little clips you put on the bottom and screw into it. Uh, I like I like things that connect together and screw to it. And to me, this was a little bit. I like it a little bit better. Is it better? I. I don't know. I've never put either one of them up. I've always just built wood decks before. <laughs> and they last 30, 40 years. Never. Matter of fact, I ain't never had a deck of mine fall apart. Uh, sometimes I enjoy going back through these old subdivisions that I used when they were building these subdivisions. And I built these decks and still seeing my deck 30, 40 years later. Uh, still looking good. That's good. 
uh, people say, oh, you didn't build it the way they, I just build them the way I used to build them. And if someone don't like it, psh, that's on them. All I know is my stuff's gonna last. You know, the, this deck here, I didn't build this, Carol's dad built this deck. And, um, <clears throat> and his brother, probably 30, 40 years ago, ever since I remember uh, coming to this old house, this deck has been here. And when I cut into the wood, even some of the wood that was it looked rotten, when I cut into the wood, the wood looked brand new. I'm not lying, it looked good. Uh, so the pressure tree to lumber, it lasts. So you can use my web, this uh, video for a reference if you like, but I do encourage you to go to the Lowe's one on, on the product. They got the videos on how to do the sta stairs and on the deck railing. And the video says use an eighth inch drill bit, but that's what I'm gonna use. Now that I got the, um, all the handrails and everything off and just got the post sticking up, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, get the post covers and slide them over the posts and see if I need to trim anything off of them, see if they fit good. Uh, video says if you got twisted lumber, uh, replace it. Uh, my posts look fairly good. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem. I don't know how tight these are gonna be. I've never used the, these type of things. Like I said, I've just built wood decks and never had a problem. Um, when you're putting wood together and you're binding the wood together, each piece of wood that you stick on there locks it in tighter. I don't know how this is going to be with the, the posts that are going down and that are attached to the bottom. Are they going to be flimsier or not? I don't know. Do I have to add more security things to it? I may have to. But as right now, we're just going to put the covers on and go from there because I may have to do some cutting the, the posts and everything else and some of them I want to leave a little bit longer they're going to have uh, uh, LED lights on top of them and some of them are just going to have caps All right, so the instructions, all these posts are 40, 48 inches. Hair over 48 inches. And instructions say to cut these things at 40 inches for the ones on your deck, 48 for the ones that are on your staircase. So I'm gonna cut these things. What did I just drop? Probably my screw bits. Anyways, I think we're gonna do this the, the fast way. I'm just gonna snap my fingers and, and these things are gonna be cut right off. Ready? Just like that. Man, that worked good. How fast I cut that? Now you don't have to cut them the way I did. You can put them on a saw bench and cut each one individual. But if you're going to use a, a skill saw, make sure you use a sharp skill saw. Something with a nice carbide tip on it that slices through this plastic with ease. Or you can try doing it my method. But it took me a long time to figure this out. All right, now it's time to start on handrails. All right, I got one of the kits opened up for the railing. And first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna check for measurements. So, I know the railing is longer than this area, which is good, because if it's too short, I couldn't use it. Sixty-four inches. I'm gonna come up to the top. And 64 and a 16th. So pretty much 64 all the way around. It's got a little bit of play in it. So 
So the idea when you cut these things is you want to have find the center and then cut the ends off to make my 64. So that's what we're going to try to do. Just to let you know that these handrails are not six foot. Even though the box says six, six, 60 inches. Six foot contemporary composite railing kit. But the railings are not six foot. So if you're making a deck and you're using this product, make sure that your railings are no, no wider than 64 inches. Sounds like my wife is coming. Driving her hot rod. All right, I better help her do the groceries. All right, so we got it cut, and you go ahead and put your uh, your plastic pieces that mounts it to it. Uh, that's why I like this set rather than the the Trex is because because of those brackets. So we're gonna go ahead and set these in and uh, mark it so we can uh, drill our uh, holes in this side. The other side is wood, so we're just gonna screw it to it. I'm using an inch and a half block to set my height. Number one and number two, square head. And of course it's not included. Let me go see if I got some. I got a couple bits. I don't think I'm using these anymore. They're junk. So I just want to tell you that this hardware kit is trash. They ain't worth the money you pay for it. So I suggest that you go to the hardware store and you buy you some uh, zinc coated screws that are uh, high tensile. Now I got to cut that other screw out. The cap won't go on. Once it strips, you can't get it out.
But I trust these. You hear that sound? That's the sound of power. Just how it sits. All right, you gotta forgive me. My wife is mowing the lawn. We're gonna get ready to do these stair railings and the cover doesn't go all the way to the ground because we got it mounted on the, on the outside where the kit shows them mounted on the inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna notch this railing to slide down over it. Let it go all, meet all the way to the ground. That way this piece will sit on it. So my notch needs to be seven and a half inch. I'm gonna cut it here, cut it here, and cut it across there with the skill saw. I could do the magic method, but I guess I can do the magic method. Woo! That worked good. That was great. Man, the magic method is probably better in the cut that I would have did. Kind of take it here and drop it down. Wait a second, get the Did you see that? Did 
did you did you did you see that? That's amazing. I, I like that trick. Woo. Now it's time to do the step rails. After forgive me, my wife's doing the the yard out there. This probably for most people is the can be a little overwhelming. But it's not that bad. Put your rail against the step and you want to have your holes. Make sure your holes are facing this way and not that way. Right? And you want to get your hole centered between the posts. I got three inches to the center. Three inches to the center <laughs> by accident. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark the profile. On the back side. All right, so now I'm over here at the saw bench. We're going to continue this line down the edge. As soon as I find my sharp. Oh, it's in my ear. What I'm doing is eyeballing it. Down the edge. I'm pretty sure this is not a 45. So don't be cutting no 45 degrees on here. It's about a 14 degree pitch on mine. Your staircase could be different depending on how you cut the treads. So I'm gonna cut it at this angle, leaving, leaving the line. totally messed that up. How did I do that? Oh no, I didn't. All right, that's gonna be it for this episode of Fixing Things with Pastor Bill. I mean, I worked on this deck for five days straight. The handrails took about two days, only because I had church and other, and yeah. Man, I'm hot, burned up. Let's see how it turned out. I think it turned out pretty good. 
I mean, look at that thing. That thing looks good. It's actually pretty sturdy. <clears throat> Only thing I, I really didn't like about these handrails was the screw package and that the quality control uh, one of the staircase railings uh, well no one of the um, boxes that was labeled for handrails on the deck was actually a um, staircase one and so I had to take that one back now I got an extra one in the shed but I still got to do the one down there so I'll, I got a home for it later on but let me flip this around but this thing came out really really good I gotta figure out what to do with this right here paint that but that hole well, it looks like at one time this was T111 and that's what the deck was kind of bolted into but I took the black the black ones back got the white ones we got an extra rail kit now and finished that all off and they turned out really good they're, they're really sturdy I do like these better than the Trex I will say that Time to relax. Just in time, too. Starting to sprinkle. I can hear thunder. Tomorrow's the 4th of July. I ain't doing nothing. Unless my wife asks me to. That's okay. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He must have gave me strength on this one because it was hot. I mean, it was in the, up in the 90s every single day. One day we had nothing but a straight pour down. I didn't get no work done that day. Um, God bless each and every one of you. Uh, I bought everything for this project. The decking boards and the um, handrails at Lowe's. Uh, when I went to take some stuff back, I lost a receipt. And uh, they looked it up uh, with my... Uh, debit card and found it and reimbursed me for the stuff and then uh they were they were they were super i i love lowe's um the quality of the handrails the quality of the handrails are really nice the the post everything is really nice the screws in the handrails uh they're junk they're junk the they need to uh, upgrade those screws to a higher uh, tensile. Uh, they're just, they strip out as soon as they hit wood. Uh, and then you got to cut them off. And they're stainless steel, so stainless steel don't cut very easy. Um, God bless each and every one of you. Uh, make, if you like my projects and like the things that I do, um, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. I got lots of projects. Lots of projects. My next one is my Harley Davidson. We're going to be uh, fixing the gas leak and getting the thing running and ready for the road. And then the next project after that's going to be my wife's bike, which has an oil leak. So I'll see you next time on fixing things. Man, look at me. I am burned up fixing things with Pastor Bill. Oh, man. I think it's time to go take a nice cold shower. I don't know, maybe a warm shower. I don't know. I'm going to take me a shower. God bless you.